Hello everybody and another product review here and today we're, we're in the realm of portable radios again and I want to show you guys another cool little radio uh, that I bought about two years ago and it's been a very good little radio it's the UV5R and this is probably um, this is probably the most common uh, radio out there the UV5R and um, the UV5R has UHF and VHF. It has all the same features that uh, that the UV82 has, and even most of the features that the uh, the uh, TYT that we've recently done has. But uh, this one is even more of, of an inexpensive radio. You can generally get into one of these for about twenty-five dollars on either eBay or Amazon, and uh, they're they're relatively inexpensive. Um, it doesn't have the dual push to talk. It doesn't have the dual band, you know, the cross band repeat or any of that fancy stuff. But as a general, generally speaking, as a two, just a regular two way radio uh, to use to, uh, um, you know, to go on local repeaters or to monitor something, uh, it's a great little radio. Uh, the sound quality is not bad for the size. I believe the UV82 has a little better sound quality. Uh, the speaker for it's right here in the middle has the flashlight uh it has the uh commercial or terrestrial radio whatever you want to call it fm uh it has um uh, you basically a button for squelch so you can clear and see if the channel's clear um i'm not much on the button configuration on the front but like i said it's a very inexpensive radio um this the ue5r is usually most people's first radio it comes in many colors uh and there's many cool things about it most of the new ones uh, have a plug charger right on the battery in the back, which is really handy uh, when you're out using it mobile. You can plug it in and continue to use it rather than leaving it in a base charger. It does come with a base charger. All these do come with a, a, you know, a standard base charger uh, to stick it down in. This is a great radio, um, and, and people complain about these all the time. Baofeng's garbage, cheap Chinese radios, they're ruining ham radio. Get off it, okay? What these are doing is they're allowing more and more and more people to be able to access the amateur radio bands. Um, not everybody has the money that maybe, say, someone that's in ham radio has. You know, um, I think one of the best things that's come out of this, this sudden generation of very inexpensive radio equipment is that now anybody can be a ham. Uh, and a lot of people got their license and never bought their first rig because it was just too expensive. And now you can buy a mobile for 150 bucks. You can buy a portable for 25 to 50. You know, you, you're in that price range uh, for a, for a decent portable radio. This has 128 channels programmable. You you would use Chirp to program it. Um, and they also make this exact radio. It looks just like this, but it's also called a UV9S tri-band, and it actually has the 220 band built into it. This one happens to be one of those upgraded ones, and you can always tell from the little sticker on the side, uh, it says UV9S tri. It's the same as the UV5R. It is the exact same radio, except this one you can also program it to work on the 220 band. Uh, on the the 1.5 um, uh, 1.5 band meters, so uh, it's a great little radio. Uh, I I recommend this, but with the caveat that if you can afford ten dollars more, I'd get the UV82, and if you can afford thirty dollars more, where you really want to be is the uh, the UV uh, the uh, TYT the 8000D. This is a great radio. So there's a lot of great options out there, and even the little cheap $25 five watt Baofeng can be hooked up to an adapter and plugged into your antenna that that you put out on your roof or whatever. And suddenly you're sitting in your living room in your lazy boy talking on the repeater that's 15 miles away. So that's how you do it. The UV5R, not a bad radio. The UV5R and the upgraded model, the UV9S Tri-Band. Uh, these are great models, and um, and they work good. But I said the caveat is it is the basic bottom-of-the-line model, but it still works well. 
I would try to move up the line just a little bit for my first radio. Uh, the one I recommend is is the uh, the UV A thousand uh, D, which is a really good radio. Um, but the UV five R is also a wonderful radio. The other thing I like about these, they're cheap enough that you could buy a couple of these and throw them in your uh, in your disaster go bag. Uh, I have that. I have several of these uh, and two spare batteries. And every six months, I pull them out and I charge them, and I put them back in my go bag. They're just there. Uh, if something ever did happen, uh, a couple of working two-way radios would be quite handy. And if they're, these are already programmed for everything they would already need. Uh, so they're cheap enough that for 25 bucks you can buy one and just throw it in your go bag. Uh, and then just uh, make sure you have a way to charge it uh, in there as well. And there you go. That's the UV-5R from Baofeng or Bofeng or I've heard it pronounced a hundred different ways. Um, but um, but Baofing, I, however you want to pronounce it, uh, it's a Chinese company, and they make millions of these radios. Uh, there was a time, and I believe still today, this is the number one selling two-way radio in the world, uh, the UV-5R. So there you go. And this is another product review here on Starship Adventures. And we'll be back again soon with another one. We're going to be doing portable radios, mobile radios, base radios. Uh, and then we're going to be starting to get into computer equipment and all kinds of different interfaces and websites. And we're going to continue to go here and tell you everything that we know about these wonderful products that we've all got and that we use. Have a good one out there, everybody. We'll see you on the next product review. This is Starship Adventures. My name's Ian.